everybody welcome back to the channel in today's video we're going to be talking about some stocks that y'all should be keeping in your watch list for today i'm also going to be answering some of you guys' questions for those of y'all who dropped those stocks of interest in the comment section of last night's video before we begin do not forget to annihilate the like button on your way in and also don't forget to subscribe if you are new to the channel okay so let's let's begin all right so right now we got the spy and it's chilling at 0.01 percent so is it going to tank today i think i think that it would be nice i think it would be fantastic actually if it could just drop um i think it would be fantastic if we see some type of like let me change it to the uh to the 15 there you go all right okay so right now the 15 i think will be fantastic if we try to retest this previous high of 47 100 and then immediately fell i feel like if there is if there is like a little bit of buyers at the open um a lot of people would be tempted to even to go long like immediately go long and that could be a trap um it looks tempting to dip buy it does be careful because green to red move could be happening on the spine right something that looks like this let's see 8 30 pop get right above like right here 47 10 even 47 08 and then up and then we just fall all the way down to like to like 40 to 46 40 something like this would not surprise me at all there's just some specific stocks that i think need to fall and they may need some help from from the spy so yeah that's my very honest opinion on the overall market in general now the first stock that y'all should be keeping in your watch list for today that stock is ttd all right now with TTD, that one is part of the tech sector. Yesterday it had a fall, which was kind of predictable. I explained the fall of the SPY, which kind of like trickled in here. You can clearly see that there was a day trading opportunity on the chart. It's right there. It's right there. Floor broke nicely right there. And then everything just kept collapsing and collapsing. The Fed meeting was right here and it just kept collapsing and falling some more. All right. Now, um, I have been watching this one for, I was going to bearish on it for a very long time, especially after, especially after this thing happened, after this, um, rising wedge broke down right there. All right. It just kept rolling over and over and over. And if you look on the, uh, if you look on the daily chart, there is this level right there at 72 dollars that i would love to see i i want this thing to just drop really really quickly that way it will give a lot of confidence for the for the bulls out there to buy all right when that thing gets taken care of it might just chill out go sideways for a bit before trying to go back up again but this is worrisome that's why i did buying today um or yesterday even yesterday at the close is super dangerous right like today it could if let's say it bounce all right let's just say today that there is some kind of bounce right there uh, so it could bounce it could let's say i'm wrong right about this video and it could bounce eventually it's gonna have to fall just to get down to 72 and then we're gonna have to make another move probably like within like, like a week or two right but it would be fantastic if we just collapse so watch it for for a day trading opportunity be very patient with it um, time your entries very very nicely i think that it's going to go to 72 the win part the win i think it's gonna be today but the win is hard like win exactly that's that's difficult right um it's uh sometimes i'm right i know some but most sometimes i'm also wrong as well it's not easy to know exactly when something is going to get like where yes it can get there eventually at some point like but when Woo! That's tough. So watch it for watch it for a potential short today. 
watching for a potential short. Um, the next one that we're going to talk about is a stock that's tanking at the moment. Oh, I love to see it. Um, that one is um, AFRM. That was actually the, the, the stock for yesterday. I explained to y'all this thing, the simple concepts of the bearish pennant. The same bearish pennant that caused the uh, NASDAQ to collapse yesterday. Some people will say, it was the news, you know, just focus on the news. Uh-uh. We, stra we trade strictly based off of structure here. It's what we do here, all right? The news is the news is cool, right? We like seeing the news when we obviously, like, go short, and then the news is bearish. Then it's just magical unicorn news for our shorts to make more money. That's great, right? But um, to wait for the news, to wait for what the reaction is to it, it's just not what we do here. No. So right now this thing is going lower. It's opening at it's about to open at 78 bucks. It's trickling down slowly. There is some news on the left hand side over here. Um about the US consumer worries about money. Sure. Um if I, I just think that this thing is gonna collapse. There is a gap at the bottom. There is a gap right over here. All right, it's it's gonna get filled. Eventually, it's gonna get filled. I think sixty seventy dollars is where it should go. So watch this one for a potential short today. Now let's talk about you guys' stocks of interest. For those of y'all who dropped those in the comment section, first one that we're going to address that one is MU. All right, now in regards to MU, there is a very bearish hammer at the top. Very bearish hammer. I told y'all in the past that it would like it would it would take a sweet time and eventually try to reach a hundred. I thought it would actually get there yesterday, but but it experienced some turbulence at the top. So um, right now it's not looking too great. I wouldn't tell anybody to go long after after this right there. Um, wait for some type of pullback and then for a bounce. I think it's going to just drop just a little bit. Just a little bit because that structure right there is not as clean as I would like it to be. Like this is very, very nasty. That's dirty right there. You see that? It breaks out. And for the people who are super anxious and buy right here, right? And they're probably gonna freak out today if there isn't any like, if there isn't an immediate rebound and they first start to trickle down below 94, they're probably gonna panic and it's gonna go to 92 bucks, all right? And this same concept, this same concept applied to uh, to, to Apple. Let me see. Apple right here. There it is, see? It's like deja vu all over again. Um, it, it pops right here, people get like super hyped. They buy, then they collapse, close, uh, closes red. And then right now, I think, right, right now MU is right here. MU is right there. So if you don't see some type of pop right back above here, like there's gonna be some fear. This is the this is what I'm trying to like teach y'all. All right. So for those of y'all who are new, don't forget to obliterate the like button if you like this stuff. All right. Um, now the next one that we're going to talk about is BY, and also don't forget to subscribe. Um, it's BYND. Somebody asked about BYND. BYND right now. Uh, it, it's it was trapping everybody it looked it looked bearish out the gates like it looked bearish let me zoom out there it is so it looked really really bearish a similar structure to afrm but terrible behavior horrible behavior right so it broke down right here um short sellers got excited like i i, I would like if i see something like this um and like i i, I would actually go short i would and then this thing immediately had some news and it came back to reality. So ultimately it was very, very clean. Like I have no complaints over here. If I will, if I actually took this one and this thing just rose like that, I would be patient because um, it, it's just because of the way the market conditions were or are right now. All right. I think it's going to go all the way down to 55. Um, my price target for BYND, when somebody asked about it in the Discord, I told them if this is not a bear trap, it, I think it can fall to 55. And then I think it will fall to $55 before we see some type of bounce, all right? So that's my honest thoughts on, on BYND. And that is 
the end of the video. Again, do not forget to annihilate the like button for the YouTube algorithm as always. It helps the channel a lot and it allows more people to get this knowledge as well. Also, if you are new to the channel, definitely click on subscribe and click on the notification bell along with all notifications. That way you don't miss out on future, uh, on daily uploads, all right? Um, if, you, if you would like to be part of a private Discord community, you can find that as the very first link in the description of the video below. If you're not following social media, you can find me at Paul and Guma and at Pedagogy Lab on Instagram and on Twitter. And lastly, if all of this is brand new to you and you're not faced by these market conditions, um, and you would like to get started, there's some very basic step-by-step -step directions in the description of the video below. Step one to step three. It only takes about 10 to 15 minutes for you to get signed up with all the tools you need to start trading immediately. You can also get two free stocks valued up to $1,850 right after you sign up with Webull using the third link in the description of the video below. Once you get this gentlemen, my name is Paul Maguma with Patternology Lab, where we trade patterns and patterns only. And I will see all of you in the next video.